Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Renee with Renee's Creative Casa. In today's video, I will be showing you guys how I made this adorable little Valentine's mailbox. It is working, so it opens here and it has the little flag on it. I told my husband it's for some little love notes if he wants to write me any. You guys will not guess what this is made out of. Let me know your guess in the comments down below. So without further ado, let's get to crafting. So for our Dollar Tree project today, we are going to be using this adorable little Dollar Tree mailbox. It is like a little working mailbox. It's made out of cardboard or something. And then they are selling these little metal buckets for their Valentines, maybe to pack your little you know, gift baskets in or whatever. And we're also going to be using some florals. I have some roses, some onion grass, and then I have a couple of different types of hanging flowers. And I'm also going to be using a Dollar Tree plunger as well as the uh, floral foam. So to start this project, I'm going to take the end of the plunger and I'm going to measure around it with a pencil and then I'm just going to cut that, cut like an egg shape in there using a razor blade. I'm just going to go in one way and then I'm just going to turn the blade and go in the other way just to make like an X. That way when I get ready to um, poke the head of the plunger down through there, it will um, just slide into that. And then once I get that um, put in there, that way I'm just gonna hot glue that into place. And you guys may want to be a little bit patient with this because it does take a little bit of time to dry. And I was getting a little bit impatient, so I did decide to move on. So I'm going to start with my um, bucket and put a ton of um, hot glue in the bottom of that because you want your end of your plunger to um, fit down in there really snugly so you want to make sure you have enough glue on there to hold that into place and then you're just going to fold your plunger um, the wrong side out like you flip it up and then slide it down in there you will have to get it um, kind of force it down in there but once it gets down in there it does hold up pretty well you guys can see here now that everything is um, dried that I have the plunger in there and everything looks like it's standing up pretty good. So now I'm just gonna take some floral foam and I'm going to cut it down to size just to pack in around where the stick from the plunger is. And that's gonna be what we're actually going to put our florals into. So you wanna make sure that you have that whole entire bucket around that plunger covered or you won't have room for your florals or you won't have enough um, stuff in there to make sure that they are gripping good. Now, once I get all this floral foam in there, I could have covered it with moss or something like that, but I wanted it to look a little bit more dressy. So I decided to go ahead and use um, some deco mesh. This is the deco mesh that I had left over from my wreath with the Dollar Tree hearts on it. I will link that video up above if you guys want to go back and check that out. But I do um, just go ahead and cut off a length of that and I'm just going to hot glue it onto the top of the floral foam just to cover that foam. And then once I get that foam covered, I will go back in with my florals and start sticking those down in there. And I do hot glue some of those as well. start cutting off some of my florals and I'm just going to use my wire cutters to cut off some of these links and then this I'm not sure exactly what type of um, hanging floral this is but I did get it because I do want it to kind of um, spill over the edge of my bucket so once I um, cut that off of the actual branches I went ahead and cut it shorter and I think I go back and end up cutting it even shorter because it was kind of hanging down on the like below where the bucket is so I didn't really want that I kind of wanted it to hang a little bit but not all the way down um, to my tabletop there so I did go back and cut this more I put in some of this and I put in some of the other hanging floral as well
the stick of the plunger and I hot glued in the some greenery as well as the remainder of that white and now I'm going to go ahead and go in with my roses and I'm just pushing all of those stems up all of those leaves up to right under the buds and then I'll just cut across those with my wire cutters and you need to cut them kind of short because well I need to cut mine kind of short because the um, plunger you can actually feel it once you start going through there. Once you get through the floral foam, you'll hit the plunger. And then I just felt like my flowers weren't down in there deep enough. Of course, if you want your flowers to stand taller, then there's always that option. But I wanted to go ahead and cut mine shorter. So I started in with these really light, um, they're almost like a cream coral color rose. I went ahead and started in with those. And then I'm going to go in with these darker ones. And I'm just going to fill in all around the base of my little um my little mailbox here After I get all my little flowers in, I'm going to go ahead and make a bow using this burlap with the lace on it as well as these two really adorable um, Dollar Tree ribbons that I picked up. And I'm just going to be using my Easy Bow Maker to make this bow. I'm just going to um, start and since this little project is a little bit smaller, I'm not going to make such a big um, bow this time and I'm going to only go to the six on that one. So the first one is on six. The burlap ribbon is at six inches and then this buffalo check with the red hearts is going to be at four inches. And then my, um, the one with the truck on it, I think it says love is in the air or I'm not sure exactly what it says on there. But it's going to be at three inches. I was going to go ahead and do two inches, but I felt like that was kind of small for um, trying to get this little bow to go. So I went ahead and went to three inches on this, and I think the bow turned out to be exactly the perfect size that I needed. You guys can kind of see right here how I'm just twisting it over. I'm using this bow maker, and then once I get that all done, I'm just going to take it off tie it really tight with a pipe cleaner i'm going to go ahead and dovetail my ends and then i'm going to attach it to my mailbox using a tiny dab of hot glue right on the back and i didn't want to put a lot of hot glue on there because i probably will be taking this bow off and i um, trying to change this up to transition into some of my spring decorations because it is so cute i'll probably just change out the little mailbox and some of the florals as well as that ribbon there but um, you guys can see how it turned out to be the perfect size and once I get it attached I'm going to fluff it again just to make sure everything is fluffed out really nicely and I'm also going to um, curl some of those ends and I think it turns out really adorable.
Okay, this is my finished little mailbox. I think it turned out really adorable. It has all the colors in it that just make you think of romance and that special Valentine's Day. Oh, the little ribbon says, you are my person. I um, mean, I love that little saying for Valentine's. So you guys can see that um, I did take a Dollar Tree plunger and I turned it into something really adorable. Um, I like the ribbons on here. I think it turned out to be the perfect size and this little mailbox has the little flag on it that um, works and the front of the mailbox actually does open up and you can see on the inside there it does have the tip from the plunger but I don't think that's really a big deal. You guys let me know in the comments down below what you think of this project. Hey y'all, thanks so much for watching my video. I hope you guys enjoy it watching me put together this little mailbox. Remember, you can change out any of these items to turn it into any seasonal mailbox that you want. So it can be Valentine's or spring or Easter or St. Patrick's Day even. So whatever season you're in right now in your home, you can turn this mailbox into that. So go ahead and give that a try. Let me know in the comments down below if you plan on trying to recreate this mailbox and what season you are going to go with. Also, don't forget to join my Facebook group. It's Renee's Creative Casa. It is a public group, so everybody can be able to find it. If you're new to my channel, I hope you will consider liking this video, as well as turning on your post notifications and subscribing so you never miss a video from me. I usually post my videos on Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday. If you're new here, welcome, and don't forget to subscribe so that you can come back. Thanks again for watching.